All right, everybody. Hello and welcome back to another Day by Light YouTube video. Today is a little bit of a different video because we're going over some of the teasers that have been released on the Dead by Daylight stories on Instagram, on Twitter, and all of that. We're going to be breaking down the stuff from yesterday and also the audios from today. And I was able to enhance some of them and maybe pick up some of the audio and some of the words that are being said. With that being said, let's quickly recap what happened yesterday with the three stories that got posted. The first, I think it was on DVD uh, Japan, I think it was. And then it, was, it got posted on Instagram, um, on the regular DVD Instagram stories as well, too. So, basically, what got talked yesterday is the following. I'm just going to give you the quick recap that, that Dewey uh, talked about. An unnamed girl and her friend Ashley are working in a diner. The unnamed girl goes to do a trash run while Ashley calls someone named Tyler to pick her up. After the trash run, the unnamed girl finds Ashley missing, but hears her voice calling from the forest surrounding the diner. She follows it and sees Ashley in a twisted, unnatural form of Ashley asking Tyler for help. Tyler wasn't there. Then the figure shifted and took on the unnamed girl's voice. She runs her way back to the diner and Tyler keeps calling Ashley's phone. The unnamed girl is trapped in the diner. So let's just break down some that specifically, right? We have the unnamed girl and Anne Ashley. They work at a diner nearby a forest. This is important because the audios have those noises of the forest in them. Then she hears her calling with the voice, right? She follows and she sees a twisted form or a natural twisted form of Ashley. So we have a potential killer that can mimic people's voices, right? potentially even transform into that specific survivor as well too. We have multiple shape-shifting and um, mimics of voice, of voices as well, which is a very interesting thing. And then it shows at the end that the unnamed girl is trapped in the diner, some sort of alternate reality, kind of similar to Blair Witch or anything like that. All right, then now let's move into today's Instagram stories that were posted on Dead by the Light Instagram. And the first one that shows up is this one, is a email, to the best of my knowledge, or some sort of recording, yeah, emails with a recording at the bottom, obviously, uh, it says, hey neighbors, did anyone see or hear anything strange in the area last night? I got woken up at around 2.30 a.m. by what sounded like someone rummaging around in my backyard, so I opened the porch lights to see what it was, but I couldn't see anything at all. I got dressed and walked onto my deck to get a closer look, but all I could make out was this weird buzzing noise and what I thought was whispering, which we'll get into in a minute, which, th which there are recordings of kind of what was going on here. We'll go and listen to that and also enhance some of that too as well. As you know, our house was one of those that got edged a few months ago by some, oh, got, that got egged a few months ago by some kids from Greenville High. So immediately I thought that was another one of their dumb pranks. I pulled out my phone to record and started walking towards the noise, hoping to catch them red-handed, but I found nothing. I couldn't tell where the sounds were coming from, so I went back inside. I obviously can't sleep now, so I'm listening to what I recorded, see attached. And I have to say, I'm really creeped out. Does this sound familiar to anyone? This person recorded four audios, right? Four. We're going to go through all of those four audios, and we're just going to break it down. And there's some areas that I was able to enhance, and there's also areas where you can hear voice or voices. So let's just go in and jump right into that. So let's hear to the first recording titled 412 Green Peaks Road. This is recording one. You can hear birds and nearby forest noises in the background, which makes sense, especially since it seems that this town is right next to the forest and that could make sense. Now, around three seconds, you hear a click like a lock getting unlocked on a door or a door getting unlocked, kind of when you pick like a lock. And then at four seconds, static starts. Around six seconds again, there's what, again, what sounds like someone picking a lock or ruffling through like a door or some sort of like metal clinking item, you know? The creature sounds like it's attempting to speak, but it's distorted due to the static. So I couldn't pick up much of that. I couldn't even enhance it very well to kind of get much of it but i was able to enhance a little bit and at the last part of the audio the the voice may be saying you let's take a listen 
So what do you think? Does it, is it really saying you or saying something else? Were you able to pick something else up? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, let's move into recording two. Titled the same thing, 412 Green Peaks Road. This is recording two. So now that you heard just the regular version of it that was posted on Instagram, this is the enhanced version starting around five, starting at around seven seconds. And I think what it's saying is, who said, what is it? I could be wrong. You tell me. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Creepy, right? It's, it's quite weird. I'm very in in invested in the story and I'm also excited for what is coming in chapter 31, obviously, because it seems very interesting to me. Now, recording three, same title, 412 Green Peaks Road, it starts with another voice, but I really can't really understand it when you hear it first. Let's take a listen. Now, I was able to enhance it a little bit more, and this one was a little bit easier to kind of comprehend once you enhance it. And at first I thought it said Senora in Spanish at the beginning, which means Mrs. in English not sure or whether that's true or not obviously if that if that's true that means that the, is there's like obviously like spanish speaking uh people in this area which can make sense if it's some sort of like um community that has obviously like latinx people in the area i also think that the killer could be something native american as well too so it could be like a mixture of of people that live in the area as well too now starting around three seconds you can hear the following <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's what I picked up. If you hear something else, let me know in the comments down below, obviously. And then the last thing towards the end of the recording, doesn't it sound like please? To me, it does. That's just me. I'm just hearing to it and it sounds like please. You tell me, maybe I'm just imagining, maybe it's just my ancient aliens um, long night watching times that I had when I was a teen, but let's move on to number four. So recording four is mostly static with louder humming and wind. Then around 10.7 seconds, we hear what sounds like when you jump over a metal fence. You know when there's the, the, those little uh, meshed metal fences and when you clank on it? That's what it sounds. Let's take it here. So that's the, the metal clanking, obviously. So now that we have all those audios recordings and everything that we can hear now that the got posted today, what are your thoughts about it? What do you think is the killer? What do you think of the survivors that are coming in? What do you think is their power? What do you think is their ability? Do you think it's something related to like a Wendigo killer or some sort of like shape-shifting killer? If it's a Wendigo, obviously that's very Native American um, spiritual. Um, obviously, like it, that is the background of, of that creature obviously so that would mean that maybe potentially we're getting some sort of survivor that is native american and a very native american town as well too which could be very fun and i think could be you know important for representation and stuff like that and and if it, that's the case i'm all in it for it and i'm excited to see what it is but what are your thoughts on it i definitely think that it has the vibe of found footage um some sort of like distorted reality as well too in terms of like how ashley's friends gets trapped in the diner kind of like an alternate reality where people don't see it as well too the the lady says in the in the first uh, email that she sends also the person who sends the email with the audio also says that they heard noises but they didn't see anything so it could be like i said alternate or opposite reality of that specific area that they're living in kind of similar to the like blair witch or anything like that where people would meet up in the same area but they were not really there but they were there at the same time but it was a different version of that same area in the forest if that makes sense so let me know in the comments down below what you thought about it obviously what what are your thoughts on it we're going to probably get more teasers next week so if when they do release those teasers and if they do next week i'll be sure to cover as much as i can obviously and if you didn't enjoy this video you know what to do and i'll catch you on the next video Bye bye